In this video, we're going to be analyzing the spring motion that we looked at in the previous video. And uh, here's the data that I just sort of threw out, uh, scribbled down on a sheet of paper. And I think we're going to start by graphing this data. So I'm going to start off, uh, let's see here. Okay, and I go uh, up to 500 grams and I go to 500 grams and I go to 45 centimeters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I'm going to say um, each, I'm going to say each one of these is 5 centimeters. Well, if I say is, if each one of those is 4 centimeters, that's what I want to do. So each one of these is 4 centimeters and then uh, let's say let's say four of these makes I gotta go uh, up to 500 grams so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 so four of those is gonna make um, four of those is gonna make 100 grams so I'm gonna go right there is gonna be 100 grams right there is gonna be 200 grams uh, right there is going to be 300 grams. Right there is going to be 400 grams. And right there is going to be 500 grams. And then I'm going to go. Um, how much did I say? I said each one was 4 centimeters. So I'm going to go 8 centimeters. Uh, 12 centimeters, no I'm sorry, 16 centimeters, 24 centimeters, um, and then uh, 32 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and then 48 centimeters, and then I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to start graphing. I got 115.3, so 15 is going to be uh, 15 is going to be right about there, and so 15.3 is going to be somewhere right in there, that area, and then I'm going to go 230 centimeters. So 230 centimeters would be right there, 200 grams, 30 centimeters, and then I go 300 grams and 45.3 centimeters. So 40, that's 44, so 45.3 is somewhere in there. 300 grams, I'm going to be somewhere right around there. And if I look, I notice that those fit onto a line. So I'm going to make a line. And so that is, and so then uh, let's keep going. Let's just graph some more. I have 213, 200 grams and 13 centimeters. So that right there is 14, 13 is right there. 200 grams and 13 centimeters is right there. Now, here's the thing is I've got circles around that one. So I'm going to make triangles around that data point. 320, that's an easy one to graph, that's right there. 427, so 400, that's uh, 28 right there, so 27 is going to be 1, it's going to be right in the middle there. Oh, sorry, doing triangles. And then 534, so 34 is going to be right on there, right there. And I'm going to make, and I'm going to set my ruler on there. And once again, they make a line. And also, once again, that line goes more or less back to zero. Okay, so now. I need a title for my graph, and the title for my graph is going to be Hooke's Law. And I'm going to say um, mass 
versus uh, stretch. And we're going to talk a little bit more about Hooke's Law. Um, Hooke's Law is actually, oh, and so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little key. I'm going to say that is the uh, stretchy spring and this is the stiff spring. Okay, so now Hooke's Law is going to be the equation for a line. So the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so now what we're going to say Hooke's Law is, so that's just a... Uh, oh, That's the point slope formula for any straight line. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to say Hooke's law is f equals negative kx. And I'm actually not even going to worry about the negative, I'm just going to say f equals kx. Okay, so now we have a little bit of translation to do because f is force measured in newtons x is distance measured in meters and then k is going to be the spring constant and that's going to be measured in newtons per meter now, when I was doing my lab, I actually measured grams and centimeters, but that's not a problem because I can say that, well, let's just say 300 grams is the same as 0 0.3 kilograms, and then the force due to gravity on 0 0.3 kilograms I multiply by 9.81 meters per second squared and so I'm going to get the force due to gravity is one second while I grab the calculator point 0.3 times 9.81 is going to be 2.94 so 2.943 newtons and then I say for um, for my spring one for my data point there it was uh, 45.33 centimeters so that was going to be 0 0.453 meters and then for spring two I say it was uh, 20 centimeters which gets me to 0 0.200 meters. So I've got, so if I plug those into my equations I get k equals f divided by x. So I get k, I'll call it loose, is going to be two point nine four three newtons divided by zero point four five three meters and I'm going to get 